Right, I've got some chalk and charcoal this time. Uh, we'll do that seascape with the lighthouse. I'll do it really, really quickly and see what you lot can have a go at, at home. So there's my horizon. So I'm going to be fairly low down on this picture. I'm not looking from a cliff down. I'm probably walking along the short line. And then just really quickly marking out. I've got some rocks and things here. And then I'm going to allow the short line to come in a bit. Like so. That's a little bit too much there. It's a bit too repetitive. I'll change that in a little bit. Bring that into there. That'll do. I'll just come up. Actually, this sort of looks a little bit like Newborough, where you've got the lighthouse on the end. Right. Horizontal lines. leaving the little flecks of light in there. And I'll put some clouds up here. In fact, no, I'll, I'm going to do a moon. I'm not going to do an outline for the moon. I'm going to go straight into the chalk. Um, and if you're not too confident about drawing a circle, your best bet would be to actually just get a little pencil and draw around something I'm having to go. Let me get free in hand. And then once you've got the, the source of light, you need it to radiate out. With your chalk, make sure you've got a nice flattish piece where the, the outer surface, the kind of the slightly shiny surface has been worn away. And if you're not sure, get a little bit of scrap of paper where you can go like that. What you're going to do is you're just going to get that dust on the paper. So we're going to radiate out whilst I'm using the chalk, I might as well catch the light. So the light's here, so it's going to come in from this side. You don't want to overdo it. Different surfaces have got different reflect reflective qualities, so if it's really wet and shiny, very reflective. If it's just kind of matte grass or something like that, or the sand, it won't be as reflective. And I'm trying to get some sharp lines. These aren't quite right, so use the sharpest edges that you can. There you go, it's looking a bit better. Just to catch that light in the water. Right, back onto the charcoal. I'm going to smudge all of this in later. Um, when I'm working with chalk and charcoal, the thing I keep telling the children is it's not done in one single go you're going to keep building up these layers again and again so even if you lose some of the lines that you start with it really doesn't matter because you've got a chance to just go over them at a later date rocks in here as well just because I like drawing rocks and I'm gonna have a sharper contrast in the foreground than I do in the distance because obviously your light can pick up the distant uh, the, the differences in the light quality far better at a closer distance So as I'm getting closer, I can see a little bit more texture in the sand and the pebbles and everything else that's going on down here. Further away, you wouldn't see any of that. Your eye couldn't pick up that amount of detail. And I'll draw, shall I draw a lighthouse? Yeah, I'll draw a lighthouse. Okay. And because I've put the moon in, I don't think I'm going to bother having the light on in the lighthouse. I think it can overdo it. Lighthouses. 
Are they doing anything? Then you can't see any detail at that distance. It's just a suggestion of what might be there. Right, and if you've got that there, you've got the light from the moon coming in. So this side will need to be that little bit lighter. Bring that in. Another dash of light. A light out here. Yeah, could be a little bit tidy, but it'll do for now. And then I'm going to put in just a few clouds using the side and kind of a jerky motion. I don't want it too neat, too tidy. And allow it to go over the moon. It doesn't need to be kept away from the moon. Because if you think about it, the clouds are so, so much lower than the moon in the sky. The moon's in space. So you can have things floating in front of it. In fact, you can make it foggy if you wanted to drag some of this across. Let's, I've not done this before, let's try it. Keep dragging. Just be careful that you're not smudging too much. That will do us. my charcoal and if the light is on top of the clouds it's going to be slightly darker on the underside so follow your cloud patterns I don't like that piece of charcoal let's swap it over that's better some general charcoal for the, the overall sky. I'll be building up some of these layers again. Right, get my finger to work this in a bit now with that lighthouse. I'll just rework in that detail, that doesn't matter. Try not to smudge in different directions because then it ends up putting uh, a texture into the sky that wouldn't be there. If it's flat, it needs to stay flat, so you need to go in the same direction. If you want the texture, such as the clouds, that is when you then shape it with the finger. I'm going to radiate that light out as best I can, and again, might take more than one go and the light does come out in a circle so I've got to keep that shape in there I've lost a lot of that light now so I'm going to build it back up again and sometimes you get like a flare of light so you can even add just a few lines from the center like so not too much There we go. I mean, I'm doing this very, very quickly, as you can see. And I'm going to just tidy up my lighthouse one more time. There you go. Really simple nighttime scene with a lighthouse.